Hey everybody, today's lesson is ordering decimals. Now, before we get up to the board and I do some of these, we need to know what putting them in order means. We're trying to compare which one would be greater than the other one, okay? And so, in order to do that, we have to make sure that each one of the numbers that we are looking at has the same number of decimal places, and then once we do that, then we can compare the numbers themselves. So, I'm gonna go to the board, and we're gonna do some of these that I've written down. All right, so when we're going to compare these numbers, let's look at what we've got. We start on the left, and then we're gonna move to the right. So look at every digit we have. They both have a five, so that's equal, and I need to move to the right. They both have a one, keep moving. They both have a nine, so 519 here, 519 here. So now obviously we're gonna have to go to the decimal places to determine which one's bigger than the other. So my first digit behind the decimal in the tenths place, they're both a five, so keep going. The second digit in the hundredths place is a zero, keep going. The third digit that we come to on the left is a nine, on the right is a four. At this point, because we now have some that are different, we can look and say, all right, which one's bigger? Well, the nine is bigger than the four. So that means the number on the left, 519 and 5,094 ten thousandths is greater than 519 and 5,049 ten thousandths. And you have to remember from previous modules, greater than points to the smaller number. Remember the little trick is, if it's greater than the alligator, you make your little alligator mouth, Greater than means that the alligator eats the bigger number. So the number on the left is bigger than the number on the right, okay? Now, the next thing we're gonna do is put things in order, which is why we learn to compare numbers. When we put these in order, we're gonna put them in order from the smallest number to the largest number. So we have to look at the digits that we're given, okay? I have three and six tenths. I have three and 69 thousandths three and nine hundredths, three and six hundredths. And what we want to do is first make sure that they all have the same number of digits behind the decimal. So I need to add two zeros here, one zero here, and one zero here to make sure that they all have one, two, three numbers behind the decimal. And that way I can compare and they will be equal. If I look at the first digit, the whole number, they all four have a three in front, so I can't go by that number. So the next one I look at is the first digit behind. I have a six and then a bunch of zeros. Now I'm looking for the number that's the smallest right now, so the six can't be it. So I keep going, and my next row I see is a zero, a six, a nine, and a six. Well. Let's keep going because right now this number is out, okay? We're not comparing him anymore because he had a six and now we want things that are smaller than that. So I'm just going to look at these three. So now that I'm comparing, I have a six, a nine, and a six, this number is going to be out because nine is greater than the two sixes, okay? So now I'm looking at this number and this number and I have to go all the way down to the very last digit. The last digit in this number is a nine, this one's a zero. So which one's smaller? The bottom number is the smallest. So out of all of these, three and 60 hundredths would be the first one. So I'm gonna write the number one because he's the smallest. Three decimal zero six zero, okay? So we've used that one. Now, which one's the smallest out of the remaining three? Well, we know it's not the very top one because we said he's too big. So then when I look at the second two, I have a six and a nine. Well, six is smaller than nine, 
So this number would be the next. So that'd be 3 and 69, whoops, thousandths, okay? We've used that one. Next, we compare the last two we have. We have a 6 up here at the top in the tenths place and a 0. Well, we know that 0 is a lot smaller than 6. So this one was, must be the third one. And then the last number is going to be 3 and 6 tenths. Okay? So that is how you compare numbers and put them in order from the smallest to the largest. All right, that's all I have for this module. I'll be coming back with rounding.